Hello, hi, how are you? I am back again because today I want to answer the age old question Can you buy Chanel bags on sale? Also, is there a Chanel sample sale? Can you buy them in Paris? And if so, are they cheaper there? Or maybe can you buy them at the airport? Where's the best place to buy them pre loved? Where's the best place to buy them secondhand? Like, what are the options? I want to discuss all the places to buy them, discount codes, tax free <laughs> sales, sample sales. I want to dive into it all and I'm super excited. So the first question, can you buy Chanel bags on sale? Do Chanel even have a sale? Yes, they do, but quite frankly, they're not great. <laughs> if you are considering buying a Chanel bag on sale, to be honest, I wouldn't wait. It is not really worth it. They have a very, 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 very tiny selection of items on sale. It's incredibly limited. It's usually literally one display cabinet with maybe like 10, 15 items in it. It's really not worth it. Personally, I think that these items are the least strong things in the collection. They're the kind of things that I probably wouldn't normally consider even looking at if they weren't on sale. Also, the sale discount is usually only 30%, which to be honest, I would rather pay a little bit more and get what I want. Also, the things that do go on sale tend to be the more expensive things. So if you are looking for a Chanel bag with sequins and tassels hanging off it, which retails for about 10,000 pounds and you wanna pay say 7,000 pounds, go look in the sale. You never know, you might get lucky, but if you are wanting to buy something like a boy bag in a limited edition color, it's very, very, very unlikely you're gonna find your dream bag, that was my phone, on sale at Chanel. So next, let's talk sample sales. Does Chanel have a sample sale? Well, no. They used to, they used to apparently have incredible sample sales. Apparently they were so cheap, they were so amazing. However, they were incredibly hard to get into. It was a case of only friends, family, staff, and journalists I think were allowed to go. And even then it was a very limited, limited, limited list of people who were allowed to attend. And apparently they used to also limit the amount of items that you could buy. They were apparently incredible. Apparently people used to like be there ready at like four or 5 a.m. in the morning. Apparently it was like so good, but obviously I never personally got to go and they don't exist anymore. So if you are hoping for a Chanel sample sale, my friends, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Next I wanna talk about buying Chanel duty-free at the airport. Now, this is something I have done. I have bought a Chanel brooch at the airport. Well, actually my boyfriend bought it for me. Now, the first thing you need to know is that you can only buy it when you're flying long haul. So if you're flying from say, England to France, you can't get the tax-free shopping. It has to be long haul. It has to be out the out of Europe. I don't even know, but basically it has to be long haul. So, you know, you do need to consider that. Also, you do have a very, very, very limited amount of time when you are at the airport, after you've checked in, but before you board your plane. So you kind of need to know what you're gonna buy before you get into the shop. So I would say do some research. I would say have a think about how much you want to spend, have a think about the prices of what they are full price compared to what they are tax free. I would also say think about the style, the color, everything like that. I would also say if you are looking for say a classic flap in the black caviar, they won't have that. They have more seasonal items, they do not have the classics. So you will be able to get a wallet on a chain because that's not a classic bag. However, you won't be able to get a classic flat bag or a reissue, or I'm not even sure what else. No, whatever. But, <laughs> but yeah, you can only buy seasonal items, seasonal styles. So you can buy the boy bag, but you can't buy the classic flap. So that is something that is worth thinking about. Also, you will have to make your decision quickly because like I said, you only get a limited amount of time in the airport before your flight. Is it cheaper to buy a Chanel bag in Paris? Now, I have heard the Americans find it way cheaper to buy Chanel bags in Paris, mainly because they're manufactured there or at least in Europe. The import duties into America are quite high so that inflates the price. However, if you are in America and you are thinking about 
buying a Chanel bag in Paris, great, good for you, you might make a real saving. However, if you're in the UK and you want to buy a Chanel bag, you're not gonna find it any cheaper in Paris because the pound is very weak at the moment and quite frankly, it's probably gonna be more expensive in Paris. However, if you're American, the pound is weak, the US is strong, you might actually find it's just as cheap to buy in the UK as it is to buy in America. And also, don't forget about tax-free shopping, you can get your tax back at the airport, which is really, really worth considering because our tax is 20%, so that will save you a whole heap of cash. Next, I wanna point out Vestiaire Collective. Vestiaire Collective is amazing. What they do is, say I was to sell a bag, I would take photos of the bag, upload the bag, and then I would sell the bag, you would buy the bag, and then I would post it to Vestiaire Collective HQ. They then check it, they authenticate it, they check the condition, they check the price, they check everything is perfect with what I said that it should be. They check it all through. If they don't think it's authentic, they will return it to me. They'll cancel the sale, which is amazing because you never, never, never get caught out with a fake. There are a lot of incredibly good fakes out there and you do not want to get caught out. The Vestia Collective is amazing because you are buying person to person rather than retail prices. And also they are guaranteed authentic. There is some seller premiums which are worth knowing about if you are selling your bag on Vestia Collective. So they are slightly higher than anywhere like eBay. However, prices do tend to be higher than they are on eBay because buyers are buying with confidence that it's authentic. Same goes for The Real Real. Again, an incredible place to shop for pre-loved Chanel bags. I love it. I actually find the photography generally is better on The Real Real than Vestiaire Collective and the price is around the same. Also, at The Real Real, you can get a 20% discount by using the code REAL, which is incredible. So go have a look, see what you find, and do not forget to use the code REAL because it is a real discount. It is amazing. Again, the real real works just like Vestia Collective. I would list the bag, you would buy the bag, and then in the middle, the real real would authenticate the bag. And if it's not real, they, they won't let you buy it and they won't let me sell it. So it is an incredible, incredible service. And it's a great place to get pre-loved Chanel bags and they have an incredible selection of amazing items. So make sure you check that out. Again, the link is below. Can you buy a Chanel bag on eBay? Well, you could, but I wouldn't recommend it. Mainly because unlike the Real Real and Vestia Collective, there is no one in the middle authenticating your bag. There are rumors that like people from Chanel are like looking on eBay to check that everything's authentic because they don't want set fakes to be sold on there. But quite frankly, I've seen a lot of fake bags on there like a scary amount of fake bags. I've also seen fake brooches, I've seen fake necklaces. I have seen all sorts. There's loads of people selling handmade badges or handmade brooches out of old buttons, but charging like 200 pounds for it, which is crazy. So can you buy Chanel on eBay? You can, but I honestly, I would not recommend it because if you get it wrong, if you buy a fake, you have basically just lost a whole heap of money and you could have spent that money on the real reel and got something real. And don't forget, there's a 20% discount code, which is phenomenal, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> Finally, I want to talk about Chanel price increases. So the rumor has it that every April they put their prices up or consider a price hike. So I was buying the Chanel Jumbo Classic Flap. No, I said the other side of the room, I was gonna get out to show you. <laughs> But um, I was buying the Chanel Classic Flap. It was literally the beginning of March and I really wanted it. And I was like, do you know what? It's gonna go up in price probably in a month. I made the decision to buy it. Well, my boyfriend made the decision to buy it. And then alas, next month it did go up, I think by about two, 300 pounds. So if you are thinking about buying a bag, I would, I would try and do it before April because that historically has been the date that they always put up their prices. They don't always put everything up, but they put quite a lot up. And if there's going to be a price change, it usually is in April. So I would look out for that. I can tell you that I bought this bag probably about a year ago and it's already gone up by £100. So if you're going to buy it, to be honest, if you've got the money, buy it sooner rather than later. And I think that's kind of it. So I hope I've answered the question. I hope it's been of help. Like I said, there is a Chanel sale. It's not great. <laughs> Do not wait for it. And also, to be honest, you could wait for it. There could be nothing in the sale. 
and then the time that you've waited for that sale, you could have ended up having to spend like an extra hundred pounds on another bag that you're only gonna end up buying at a later date. So that is my video. I hope it's a help. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, please do let me know and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>